Daily Logic Check. Welcome to the Locals edition of Daily Logic Check. I'm Elizabeth Vargas, your host, with my co-host, Andrew Vargas. We have a Locals edition Logic Check because normally I have people from out of the area um, who are lawyers, who are doctors, but I wanted to go local this time. And I have Greg Viviani, who is a videographer here local in the area who really believes in the ocean, and Austin Keen, world champion skimboarder. Thanks for coming, you guys. Yes, glad to be here. Glad to be I here. I feel so cool today, so I want you guys to feel cool with me. I, I don't know anything <laughs> about exactly how they do their sport or how they get it done, but they do. And I don't know anything about Greg, how he films in the ocean without getting bit by sharks, but we're going to make this happen today. So, <laughs> so um, Greg, I met you how long ago? Uh, man, it's been at least a year. Has it been a year? Yeah, I think it's been it's been over a year. Yeah, I've been following you, and your Instagram has been just crazy. Yeah, we and all your social put a lot of platforms. content out there for sure. And you, you know, one thing that caught my eye with you is that, well, first off, I love videographers. I love people that create content. Now, both of you guys are content creators. I mean, you won the GoPro challenge. Yeah, I did that uh, twice, actually. Four, yeah, four, four years ago, one, you won the second time. Yeah, it was uh, 2018 and 2019, I, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And, and they that actually one still shot. use that. They still use that clip today. It was like so insane. It looks like CGI yeah. with a dolphin. Yeah. And it's like still on their website, even though it was like four GoPros ago, which is pretty cool. But you also said it was buttery. The word buttery. Yeah, buttery? Did I, I say mean, it was buttery? I caught my eye. I'm like, shit. okay, no, the no, guy likes buttery. buttery, creamy, everything. Yeah. Yeah. He said creamy, it's buttery. Crisp. I'm like, what are we yeah. watching right now? I'm hungry. <laughs> I must have been hungry. Hungry, I don't know that. Yeah. Creamy and buttery sounds a little different for me. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me think of really good food. I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not in the gutter. <laughs> this is Andrew's my personality. I think buttery is good for footage, and creamy is good for audio. Is that oh, what it is? At least you didn't say the word more. Moist, okay? Because yeah. that would have been really weird. <laughs> it's so moist out here. <laughs> did you watch the footage? I sent yeah, it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, and that was in, in Turks and Caicos. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you go there quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I've been going there more and more. I mean, it's like my dream to have a house on the canal there. So, it, crossing my fingers for that. Win soon. another GoPro challenge. And, yeah, we're gonna need to win like twenty of those. <laughs> <laughs> I think. That, yeah, I, that canal could be yours. No, I didn't win a million bucks. They actually, they, it's like twenty-five thousand submissions they have to sift through and then they pick 56 people and then they split that so you end up being like 18 grand and then oh, I split crap. that with my buddies so it's more like it's cool they win the money but it's more like the prestige it was the first GoPro million dollar challenge they did yeah. so that was pretty cool and it was a strike mission to Turks and Caicos Wow. and uh, okay. I was there for two days and I got like every shot I wanted to get and didn't even expect to get that shot. Yeah, you said it was last minute. You guys were like, just get out there. Yeah, I just went solo. I went out there. I have, I have some friends who live out there, grew up on the islands and they run a water sports charter out there, Wake to Wake and Kit Griffiths, uh, Kit Griffiths uh, Aqua Charters. And um, Kit just knows, he like, he's literally the dolphin whisperer. Like he, I mean, he saw it firsthand. Like, it's these dolphins come up to him just like your dog came up to you when you walk into the door. Yeah. It's, like, wild. They, like, they know the sound of his boat, and then they know him when he jumps in the water. It's, like, it's unbelievable. They're yeah. so smart. I mean, I almost forgot you were out there with me. We played <laughs> fetch with these dolphins for, like, 45 minutes. And these are wild dolphins? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. And you both go together all the time, or what? It... Well, he went. Uh, he just went for the first time with me, like, yeah, a year just... ago, and okay. then we just had another trip with him and... Connor, they went out with me in January. And you're always videoing. As much as I can. I mean, if there's yeah. waves or if there's an opportunity, yeah, I'm flying a drone or behind the GoPro camera in the Greg's water. Greg's a freak, man. He's at the beach like 14 <laughs> hours a day. Just like, I stalk him on yeah. Instagram. I'm like, and my followers are like, what's he filming today? <laughs> yeah, this yeah. guy's doing like breaking news. There's a creek that's not well, being He's fresh. going <laughs> insane right now. There's no waves. So he's like literally going insane just filming creek stuff. The way, as we all are aware, the waves have been horrible lately. So we're like, you know what, we've got to spice it up. But what I'm, you know, the whole creek situation, that's a whole other massive Yeah, we'll get into that. Yeah, topic, sure. But yeah. Make sure you, you, we have enough time for that. Yeah. It's yeah. going to take some time for him to. <laughs> no, no, I really want to get into with you the, you know, your passion for living local and loving local. That's really important to me. And Definitely. being outside and really loving the outside environment that our, our um, locals enjoy. Like, um, I, I've lived in Newport for a very, very long time, and I'm kind of engulfed in the whole world of, finance and real estate and some TV, you know, whatever. But I, I am on my phone all the time. And when I watch you, you know, it gives me that sense of outdoor behavior, what I could, like what children should be doing. You know, I see the, what, what are those little kids with the red outfits? 
that are always on the by my you house you on the mean beach. The lifeguards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, the junior guards. Junior guards. Yeah. The junior yeah. Guards. I'm in Missouri. I don't have right junior off. guards. I'm in the Midwest. <laughs> I don't know. That, that is cool, man. I see those kids like I'm like that didn't exist where I grew up, and I'm just like that's in Georgia, like, right? Yeah, I was a like, junior guard. You yeah, are junior guard. I was guard? a junior guard and did the whole Viviani, junior guard program. Viviani, bringing the Italian. So you've, been, you've been connected with the ocean your entire life. <laughs> yeah, literally, I was born in South Laguna and grew up there. My grandparents oh, moved local. to South Laguna in like I think the late '30s, and then my dad grew up in town Laguna, and we just never left. Not a bad place so we, to stay. Yeah, Not a yeah. Bad place to make roots. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good time. So how did, Can't so imagine. You're, you're local forever then. So yeah. how did you guys meet? Skimboarding in uh, in Laguna. Was I he mean, stalking you with his camera? But it's like, funny, like <laughs> GoPro. Or, sorry, GoPro. I'm just gonna call you GoPro now. <laughs> I, uh, your content is you hear awesome. That GoPro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. GoPro. <laughs> Greg, your uh, content though, it's yeah. my fans always. Are my 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 uh, they they go on my that my Instagram. They're like, why are you following these? Skimboarders, surfer slash videographer, what are you doing? I'm like, I love it. It's very it's stimulating to the eye. It's exciting. And it shows people what they can do in Orange County, Laguna area, wherever, Southern California. Yeah, I mean, this is like the mecca of skimboarding too. Like, I mean, there should be skimboard statues in Laguna because it's just where it all began and where it started. And there's really, I've traveled all over the world and there's like, Really, not that many other places that are as good for skateboarding as they are in Laguna Beach. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. And, and, well, and I was going to say, I love uh, filming with Austin. You know, obviously he has, I can't get the clip unless I have an athlete to film. Right. So filming with Austin and some of the, you know, these professional athletes, is, it's the videos there. I just got to get in the spot to get the actual. Which content. is honestly a really, it's a powerful skill set in itself because it, one, right. you're putting yourself in the impact zone of this. Crazy shore break that's breaking right on the sand, really yeah, powerful. Looks dangerous. And then to charge into it, and then also like know where the skimboarder is going to be after they, you know, we do like what's called a backside wrap. So you hit the wave and you come back around, shooting through the barrel, and like you have to be in the right spot without getting hit. Or also you want to be close enough to where a GoPro can capture it too. And you're in the water with them, hundred percent. They'll start. Sometimes I'll start out of the water and then I'll run into the wave as he's running. And then sliding, and then gets you know catches the wave. Basically, you know gets up on the wave, and then comes back. <clears throat> excuse me, into the barrel, and then I'll be I time it and kind of get in the position to capture him flying through the tube. And or wow. if or if there's you know like a cider connection. There's there's all these terms in lingo, but it's I you I get fell in love with cider it. Cider connection. Cider <laughs> connection. <laughs> so you basically it doesn't mean um you know you've taught yourself where you need to be with your camera, what angles. Yes. So you can make. Him look the best. Hundred percent. My goal and my what I want to do is make him look perfect. Yeah. Austin, Aww. you know, that's you so great. Oh, so nice. so nice. That is an impossible task, you? by the way. <laughs> that ain't happening, brother. I appreciate you trying. But then, but then also, but then also, like getting the bat, like the coolest clip I can that shocks everybody and motivates people to like you know either try skimboarding or yeah. go out and get out outside go and outside. do something they love and follow I tried it when dreams. I was a kid but it didn't go very well yeah, I, can't, I can't skimboard <laughs> yeah. I, I Wait, hear all the stories so how do you skimboard is it just running because I okay I'm learning the whole surfing culture I love Southern California but I'm scared shitless of the water yeah. I think that I'll be the only Orange County housewife that got in the ocean and got eaten by a shark well you know it's so. really cool that we could get you doing after the, the podcast is Wake surfing. So wake surfing is like probably how, how do do the easiest action sport. Like I always put that in quotes because like it's at, at a pro level, yeah, it's an action sport, but like it's so easy to learn. Like you can learn it and like with no experience on a board whatsoever <laughs> in like 10 minutes. I mean, Kim Kardashian's wake surfing in her free time. Oh, then anybody yeah. can do it. I mean, I, I see that. I'm maybe like, if she can do it. Maybe she's a closet athlete. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's got to be I'm the most. I'm actually a lawyer. You just can't tell. <laughs> she's got to be the most high maintenance person, you know, out there. Like, I don't know. But there's a lot of celebrities and athletes, too, that uh, they can't put their career at risk. Yeah. So wake surfing is a really all <laughs> good Soft landing? Off. Yeah, I mean, that's well, what I always thought. I've seen them run, and then they, like, wake, accidentally get, catch the edge, different. and then they roll over, and then they... Yeah, that's skimboarding, skimboarding is... That's He's skimboarding. talking about wake surfing. I'm talking about wake different. surfing behind oh, a boat. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so wake surfing is, like, really low impact. You're moving slow, but you get that feeling of riding on a wave. Wow. You, you could get a two-minute ride on a surfboard, and granted, it's a boat wave, which isn't the exact same thing as right. surfing in the ocean, but... You get that sensation of surfing for two minutes straight, which would take any surfer, maybe a lifetime or beyond, to get that feeling in the ocean. Huh. You know, so yeah, I live up in Washington State, and that's what everybody does. 
Yeah, like hundred percent. Everybody wake surfs. Yeah. Everybody's got the bo- the boats. They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, on these you're boats. right. Yeah. And then that's another thing that I can film him doing because he does. We he did this thing called yeah. the Celebrity Surf Series with Austin Keen, and we've you know he's had a bunch of celebrities on there, and yep. and I've I'm able to film with my GoPro and then also drone footage and whatnot. So when there's no waves, exactly. <laughs> I think the exactly. the hardest, the most difficult Celebrity Surf Series we did was with Whitney Cummings, and I actually thought wow. that she was not going to get up, and I realized that actually Reed picked up on it. He uh, he's like, he he noticed she was just trying to be funny and wasn't actually trying. You know, oh, she had okay. a lot going on in her mind where she wasn't trying, but once she applied herself and really wanted to do it, just get she's like just wanted to get over with. She rode for like three minutes straight without the rope. Huh? So like she after that, that day, athlete. I was like, okay, we can get anybody up. <laughs> <laughs> so on the yeah. next Celebrity Surf Series, Elizabeth yeah. Barger. And, and I would say Wendy Cummings, she was great, by the way. She was awesome, so funny, like so sweet. She was rad. So, so we'll get we'll get John Paul in here too. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get go, go demographic. We'll get billionaires and, and housewives. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be that? amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Get and John I got my Paul on the boat too. Yeah. yeah, I got my Mastercraft down in Lagoon or Lagoon Carlsbad Lagoon, and yeah. uh, we can actually the cool thing with my Mastercraft partnership is we can because yeah, you're sponsored by Mastercraft. Yeah, we right? can go anywhere in the United States. So we've done the Surf Series in Miami. We've done it in Austin, Texas. Uh, I got some plan this summer in Gaza Ranch in Idaho. So and you wait, where did you? So you just did a, uh, a, a your most fabulous stunt ever, which was under a tunnel at yeah, 40 that was... something miles an hour. And you were sponsored by Mastercraft, so you had two Mastercrafts, one on one side, one on the other. Yeah. One dropped you off, and you, I thought for sure you're going to, I'm so happy you made it. And then you got to the <laughs> other side, and another visuals. one picked you up. Yeah, that was like probably like, probably taking something that, like I said, is so low impact and safe and probably making it as dangerous as possible. Did you watch that video <laughs> I sent you? Oh yeah, my yeah. God, it was yeah. insane. Yeah, that's that's awesome. definitely a fan favorite. People are always looking at it like, dude, that freaking tunnel stunt. So yeah. yeah, we did that actually the year I signed on with Mastercraft. And, uh, Were you there? Like, or? No, I did not film that one. Okay, that, okay. Was, uh, that was on a Mastercraft shoot, so they got all their people. but Because they had that GoPro guy had to get to the other side quick enough. I mean, the GoPro guy. Oh, the drone. The drone. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, so I have, t- I have a few different angles. We have like three drone angles, and then we have like my mouth mount that shows you my POV. Yeah, what is your mouth mount? You keep you mentioning just you stick it in your mouth? The yeah, it's a mouth. bite. <laughs> yeah, it's a GoPro bite mouth. So you can like, there's like a little hole. It's like a mouthpiece, and you okay. hold it in your mouth. And you know, and that's what you shot the. Uh, you gotta really winning, build up those jaw uh, muscles. Million dollars and it winning. doesn't get in your way. Is it like. Or is it down no, here? No, it's down here. Okay. So it's like <laughs> actually the <laughs> so porn right stars here. could use it. Yeah. On the camera. You could, I'm, I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have. Yeah. I can imagine that the porn Greg, people Greg are acting, like <laughs> Greg acting like he doesn't know they have. Oh my god, GoPro, Go, Lily, GoPro, yeah. Go yeah. OnlyFans Pro with GoPro. <laughs> Just kidding. Use it for any application. Any application? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Daily logic check. So Andrew's notorious uh, for these dumb shirts. <laughs> They're good. Uh, nice. So yeah. I like the Those other one, the other one with the crayons or so. What is it? Yeah. 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 No, I, I just I'm not a big branded kind of person. So what I do is just I think it's gonna be. I like to make people laugh. So yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Walk- Oh, drugs are real expensive. I, I, I didn't even re- read that part. I literally, like, my fourth grade subconscious oh, yeah, mind was just like, drugs are bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's weird. Yeah, he's yeah. Well, for remember, sure. like, the dare, it's like, what is it? Well, I don't, we, we were trying to think of it. D- dollies are really. No, d- wait, what dare really is? It's d- like uh, drugs. Drugs are. Awareness. I can't believe none of us know this. Drugs are. I'm dating myself, but it, dare was after I was a kid. <laughs> hmm. But you do associate that with bad drugs, so yeah, at least yeah. they did their yeah. job with the their branding. The only drug commercial I think of is the egg one. This is your brain. This, this is, is your brain. Yeah, brain. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 Any questions? That. That's, that's, that's I, I can't funny. never get that out of my head. That's when I was a kid. That <laughs> was the, the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I. So you, um, I've also on your Instagram, I've noticed that. Um, speaking of like parties and drugs and you know the culture of surfing, and, <laughs> yeah, you know there's a really there's a stigma, you know that. That people that surf and wake surf and you know the whole athlete part of it is just a byproduct of who you really are, which yeah, is yeah. you know partier. And you see the hot chicks with all the bathing suits and the guys are like this, you know. <laughs> Man, you're you're like she talking about some '90s well. era. Yeah, yeah. That was more like Point Break. This is like '90s Point Break, like, well. yeah, <laughs> break stuff. So no, but, but what I'm saying is is so like for me, I I thought well. So, so what you're going through right now is you're kind of fighting. There's this, there's this creek mm-hmm. um, that's in Laguna that keeps 
filling up and the water keeps getting stagnant and there's a lot of bacteria and crap that keeps growing in this thing. And when it's dug out or when it actually naturally flows, you guys are able to surf it, right? Wake surf it. But right now it keeps, they've got it all blocked up and then you guys keep, you naturally this, this creek was there since the beginning. You guys have been surfing it and it was because so, it was already there. It wasn't because you made it. So what my, my point of saying this was is that you, you're, you realize that you needed to dig it out, right? And you need to make it available for not just the environment and not just the locals and the houses to protect the environment, but also for the surfers to kind of come out and be outside people to be enjoying the, the environment that, you know, the earth has given us, which mm -hmm. in Southern California is a magnificent environment and they're trying to stop you. Tell my audience about what is going on with politics in Laguna. This is crazy. Okay, so I'll go back like ways, ways, ways back. So back in the day, uh, they wanted to outlaw surfing and board sports in Laguna Beach. This right. was years and years ago. There's, an they wanted, to, they wanted to try to blackball community. all the beaches so no one could surf, skim, et cetera, et cetera. So the surfing community stood up and they fought against that. And then they were able to keep certain, you know, surf breaks for surfing, you know, like Rock Pile and Thalia and Brook Street yeah. and Oak and da 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 da. So basically, they, you know, spoke up and rose against, you know, the people and the politicians and whatnot to protect the surfing, right? So there's this Aliso Creek in South Laguna at Aliso Creek Beach. The, the creek's been there for thousands of years, right? And it's been flowing. Thousands of years? Yeah, literally. It's been it's billions been, and billions. Multi billions, 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 billions of years. Billions. 100 so, million. Nobody knows how long the creek's been years. around. <laughs> Longer than anybody. But we know so, it's been there. Right. So literally, <laughs> so literally, like, they, they basically, uh, the, the problem was human development. So people built a bunch of, you know, stuff in the ravine of Aliso Creek. They put a bridge there in 1926, the parking lot on either side, there's the ranch, golf, golf course, course up top, up right? up top. Then, there, then you go back 19.8 miles, that's how long the creek is, and there's over 110,000 houses upstream Wait, 19 .8 now. 19.8 miles? That's how far the creek goes, Like that's like the watershed wow. that, it, okay. that it reaches back up by like Saddleback Mountain. Oh, so it originates at Saddleback. Yeah, okay. so basically um, there's a, a group of people that are against digging the creek out because they think that we're polluting the ocean by doing so. And what, what I've proven with science, data, studies, video proof that when you breach the berm, it's going to you know, not allow bacteria to build up. Stagnant water creates bad mm -hmm. quality. Kelly Slater has supported my efforts. He commented on a post that the inertia did and was like, yeah, this you know, basically supporting what I'm arguing. The other people think that we're polluting the ocean. They don't understand that the creek and the sand are constantly changing. It's constantly moving right. and ba from the waves. And the waves it's bring the sand back. It's a natural occurrence. Yeah, I mean, it so, to yeah, I mean it, it blows me away that this is such a big uh, issue. Uh, because yeah. it's I'm like, shocked. it literally is a creek that flows the ocean. Like, in what, the only, one mind-blowing thing is, like, how much, like, the sand gets replenished overnight. Yeah. Like, this thing will just plow, like... Literally, like massive tons of sand out into the ocean, and then it, like the this next comes day, right back. the next day, like that whole yep. giant yeah. like river ravine that was made is like replenished. I don't even understand how it works. It, it, it's the ocean. The ocean and it's the tides natural, brings yeah. the sand it's back. Powerful, right? So, so is this is this one of those creeks that you like? If you breach the creek, then you can work. Yeah, yeah you, can ride, you can surf. ride. Yeah, so away. I mean, the only thing that we're doing is like or people are doing like surfers and skinboard like the collective is just like they'll they'll breach it just early like so manually this, so, so the that, water pools up basically just on the other side of the sand yeah it's like siphoning itself out to the ocean so it's like it's, so the first it. thousand feet from like the the sand upstream i've doc i've like researched the heck out of this so the <laughs> yeah, first you're, you're on it the first thousand feet fill <laughs> Great up from air it's, it, it's yeah. the deepest part in the, in the most volume of water. And that's what drains out temporarily. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour and a half to fully drain out. And then the water level that flowed out gets the same level as the ocean, so equilibrium. Yeah. And then it fills back up with the high tides. And, and the then sand the sand comes back. moves back yeah. and then so, locks I mean, it off again. We yeah. have runoff that's coming from inland, mainly, mostly in the winter. Like, if you see a wintertime storm come in, like, the creek's not going to, like, it's not going to be filled up. But things just constantly it's just, Like, there's, it's going out in four different areas. So, so I guess... How exactly are they saying that the natural water that's coming down, that's flowing into the ocean, is polluting the ocean? Yeah. It's well, no, there's a Karen. I watched <laughs> the video. This guy's like, they're literally But that doesn't make any sense. Here's, so here's their argument. In the summertime, in the non-rainy season, the creek still fills up with urban runoff. 
Okay. Which is not rainwater, which is basically golf cart, washing their cars. Golf, speaking of golf course golf stuff, courses, like the golf course fertilizer, the sprinkler all that stuff. system. Because they're, they need to stop then fertilizing oh. the dam. Get rid of the golf course. <laughs> no, I mean, man. hello, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> can come up with alternatives. So we can right. come We're up with alternatives. We're speaking crazy here. We're speaking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you two golfers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So, See, so, what, are you, what, are you, what are you working with here, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically what I'm trying to like help educate people, and that's what like I have this – whole script of what I tell people and like what I've, you know, embedded in, it feels like I'm beating a dead horse, but literally the creek's going to, the water's going to flow in the ocean anyways. The longer that the water sits stagnant, the higher the pollution levels get. Bacteria the, the is The worse terrible. for the ocean. Well, that, there's right? a bunch of, there's, there's going to be a bunch of fertilizers that didn't get used by the plants, so that's going to be not, it's going to be ideal for things to grow. Well, that, and there's like just. It shouldn't grow. Yeah, there's like bird shit, like just like all the stuff that collects. Yeah. Naturally and get and it, what's weird is like this whole thing, I was reading something that you sent me just this morning, I think, the, or yesterday. But it was uh, like it, the whole this whole like uh, movement on opposing movement is from environmentalists, and I'm like, these so are people, spoken. these are environmentalists who yeah. aren't even spending any time at the beach. They don't see the natural cycle. We're there every day, and we see the natural cycle of this creek. And these guys, these are like, I don't even know what is fueling their passion behind God. keeping the thing. Like you'd have to build a concrete dam in order to keep that thing from breaking. Well, yeah, I see. The only I see thing, your video. the only thing, uh, the community is doing is basically just alleviating the pressure early so that there can be some sort of benefit to that, whether it be riding a wave, having a sandbar, or protecting houses, so or keeping they, the creek from going way south and ruining the beach right. for the entire uh, tourism area. You know, but no like matter the, what, it's eventually going to naturally break... I mean, yeah, it's going to do it in like the same 24 hours that maybe the community dug so it So they're out. just upset that you're doing it on your time frame, not Exactly, time because frame. literally and, they'll give you a... Uh, Right now, they've given uh, Greg a fine for doing it when the city literally showed up 12 hours later and did the same thing. It sounds political. But, but the, but the, it's so weird. It's like the it's weirdest political. thing. I don't even get it. Like, I mean, yeah, he's like, really he's weird. Weird. So, Greg so, is balls deep they, in this. And I'm just like, dude, it's not that. It is not so, that you got some balls in there, <laughs> yeah, man. Dude. Go pro. You better. Full of creek water. <laughs> balls deep in creek water. For so sure. so literally here, I'll tell you why. They're so adamant about this. You got to follow the money, right? So I've been doing some research, do and it. there's it's always a, the money. There's follow a, the money. There's this, you know, the the group wants to do this estuary restoration project, right? That's a that's a tongue twister. They want to basically bring the creek back to how it was over a hundred years ago. It's not going to happen. You're not going to take out over you know 110,000 houses upstream. You're not going to take the bridge out, the golf courses, all that, right? Yeah. It's the 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 rocks that protect the parking lot. They're not going to take that out. That's what they want to do. And they're trying to, and they say that it's a, it'll be like a minimum of twenty million dollars. So they're going to try to get grants for that and this and that and whatever, whatever. And I'm like, okay, follow the crazy. money. So I've been, I've done some more research, and some of the people that are opposed to that live up above the creek. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if this becomes an estuary, not a parking lot, that's going to increase their property value. Hmm. Oh, follow the I money. Get it now. So these are, and this is my opinion. I'm just saying that with my own personal research, I'm not saying these are facts. If you want to study your own facts, study your own facts. But I will say that there is a money trail on the other side, right? And they don't understand that when we breach the creek, I've documented it, that it's helping the overall situation. It doesn't go to the north. The, all the homeowners are supporting wow. me to the north of the creek right. yeah. because it ruins I mean, their property. The homeowners have literally come outside with a shovel, friends of ours. Have though. you seen, so was that real when you, oh, of course it was real, you filmed so it. So it can breach towards these northern so, houses. So, the so houses it'll, oh, it'll meander problem, to right? the north when you don't They've touch it. have already eroded the. Yeah. It'll, it ruined their properties. There's one one piece Andy, of you property see these videos. that the, the, the full patio the guy made collapsed like eight years ago and he can't build it back. The Coastal Commission won't let him build his front patio back he has no fence in the front of his house now it's crazy and then other damages and stuff and so if you don't maintain it because humans interrupted this natural flow it's going to cause problems it'll flood the pedestrian tunnel it'll flow to the north it'll flow to the south all these issues issues so realistically the wave riding community is doing a service to the city and it's free literally a free service this blows me away it's, it's like dude, this is yeah. like he, i saw the one guy so he's obviously prejudiced against surfers and skimboarders and whomever because you could tell he's a nerd this guy was like walking in you know whatever that that article you sent me and he's like they're literally pollution he's like the karen the dude karen what are those called there's, burgers there's a know. there's a handful of dude karens and, for and, sure. and, and he's like sitting there complaining <laughs> dude, oh these guys are just <clears throat> these troublemakers are surfing and uh, i'm like thinking 
What? So it's you wild. Sat- Nobody cares about that the ocean more than we care about. You it. We're care. there every day. Yes. Like exactly. you know, like we're picking up trash off the beach every day. Yeah. And, and I will say the ticket that I did get, it wasn't for digging the creek. There's no law that says you can't dig the creek out right now. There's no law. What was the, the ticket you got? The ticket that I got was for digging holes. That's literally what it said on the ticket. <laughs> really? I should get lots holes. of those then. And and the re- <laughs> and I'm the first person, I researched this too. The first person <laughs> in the history of Laguna Beach South in South Laguna to get this ticket for that. And so I'm thinking that the city used their overreach to try to stop me from doing this. And then I believe that this is, I believe, let's keep in mind too, Laguna Beach is probably the first beach in America to ever outlaw frisbees and footballs on a beach too. I don't know if anybody ever Wait, actually got Wait, are you got, kidding? Yeah, yeah I don't there's know. a law. There is a know, law. I don't yes. know if it's still yes. around. No, 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 no. Yeah. There, is a, there is a law. It yeah. says you can't throw... Frisbees, softballs, hardballs, I forget the actual I don't think it's ever been. They're taking us off the beach. Yeah, no, I don't no, think no, it's no, ever been enfor- enforced. And they're not enforcing it. No, it's, 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 yeah, it's so, and so what, and this is what I'm trying to explain to city council is we're trying, I'm trying to educate them to enforce this creek digging when the beach is crowded. Yeah, don't let people dig it out. But when the beach is empty, it should be able to be Greg dug Viviani out. Greg Viviani for city council. Let's go. And so, <laughs> hey, wait, speaking of city Greg council, speaking of city council, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, one of the city council members, Mark Orgel. He's very supportive with my efforts and what's going on. I know hey, he's got to be non-biased, thanks. but he's trying to bring a uh, surfing museum into Laguna Beach. It's currently in San Clemente, and there is a lot of history in it from Laguna Beach, yeah. but also he wants to implement uh, the history of skimboarding in it as well. And I think that that's something that should be in Laguna. Absolutely. And I think that that these people that are trying to, you know, cancel people from digging the creek, I think they're, you know, ruining... It's just part of an ecosystem of hate. Yeah, they're ruining a it's novelty weird. wave. They're yeah. pushing out a, pushing out a community of wave riders, it, and, and it shouldn't It happen. makes you think about, like, how, like, when I, I... After I've seen how much Greg's put into this and, like, <sighs> seen how many, like, how much politics are into this, like... What I think is such a silly issue that they should even be arguing. Like it's it's silly, and it's It's like you think about how much is going, how much effort is going into this with city council and the government of Laguna. Like it just makes you realize like how much like not to go. I'm not trying to take the conversation there, but like how how bigger politics like and bigger issues in the world must be affected by like well, like no, this is a this silly is issue so trivial and yeah, it's yeah. so much trivial it's so hard sp- to deal with something so simple yeah, yeah. The imagine oil if it spill. was a big problem how the <laughs> fuck did they deal with that when well, they've got a big tanker yeah, <laughs> or, 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 New Orleans or, mean, oil. or meanwhile like a hotel will have 35,000 gallons of raw sewage spill in Laguna Beach and it just gets brushed under the rug by the environmentalists yeah. that are putting all their effort into this creek thing. It's like, but look at Long guys, Beach. Long Beach has tankers. Follow oil the tankers. money trail. Well, like, we're talking about yeah. raw sewage <laughs> in the most beautiful, <laughs> like, 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 strip of beach, in my opinion, in Southern California. And that just, like, goes brushed under the rug. Because, but, but here's what we're missing. Because they can't, because they, they don't feel like they can fight it, really. They can't, they can't control yeah, it. Yeah, so it's like, okay, if you guys really care, like, Fight for something that like matters, not something that literally does not matter. Wait, here, I, I will say it's that happen I've, anyways. Yeah, I well, it's going to happen right. It it's might not, be breaking right now. As it we is speak breaking on right now. It's actually it's, it's breaking right They're now. They're like, is this is this interview the t- over yet? No, 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 no. Because the tide is going out right now, and so the creek probably is flowing out. It is draining, it which is just good. Blows. And I Do will you know tell how many you this. flowers and stickers on so, TikTok t- Live he's missing out on right now <laughs> during this podcast. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> wait, wait. So, so a homeowner and myself, we tried to dig the creek out like five or six days ago. The lifeguards came over because their directive currently, we're, we're trying to change their directive. They came over and said, we got to stop digging the creek out, blah, 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 blah. There's no law, but they're just suggesting yeah. because of the other parties, you know, trying to force their hand. So we stopped. We're like, all right, whatever. And then now um, the creek started flow, it's flow, it was flowing to the north. This was uh, on the, today's the 19th, so two days ago. Is it? And then yeah. basically the same homeowner and myself were trying to stop the flow from going to the north. And then the other opposing party showed up, and they told on us. They ratted us out to the lifeguards. <laughs> tried to get the park rangers down here. You can't be doing this. And we're like, so the Karens but, showed up. But wait, wait. <laughs> this is weird because we're trying to stop the flow from going to the north. It's already flowing, so it really makes you wonder. We're like doing what they want to stop the flow, and then obviously we're going to try to redirect it straight. It didn't work. It was already flowing too heavily. It's very difficult. Are these educated people or just... Probably not. I don't so think then, so. So then the next day, the next day, because we wrote emails to the city, the city brought a backhoe down with about four City Works public em- I saw employees. Your video. They, they dropped the sand in front of the flowing north section and then they re-dug it out straight. So where are the Karens now? 
<laughs> yeah, they did, they did a way worse yeah. job than yeah. what you yeah. had yeah. done. Yeah, not the Karens, the environmentalists. It's well, like, yeah, you're an environmentalist, but you'd rather to, yeah. have a backhoe with like leaking transmission fluid, transmission oil, fluid. hydraulic How fluid. How about we worry about the boats that are showing up with people landing in Laguna and then morning? Well, <laughs> well, so then, so then the last, the last thing that like with this whole creek situation, I was like, all right, I need to get more momentum behind what I'm doing. So I started a petition and change.org. No more useless laws at Aliso well, Beach. You, you, there's a camera too going up. That's going to go up. Is that part of the, your petition? Well, no, the petition is for the creek. Particularly, we oh. don't want any law that says we can't dig it out. I okay. have like over 7,700 signatures now, wow. which is cool. But like, basically, I'm pissed. And I'm pissed. Yeah. And the reason why I'm pissed is because one of the person, people from the other opposing party wrote an email behind the scenes slandering my name and also Blair Conklin's wow. name. Dude, Blair Conklin is a uh, world champion skimboarder as well. He's got his bachelor's in, in environmental science and is also and saying that this is ridiculous yes. i'm not trying to put words no in his that's mouth, great no he's supportive he's, with what i'm doing yeah, i've spoken supportive. to him as and well none of the council members are doing anything really well i'm providing facts and data and information i have been for a long time and, and then it just put a fire under my ass i'm like you know what i am fucking pissed and i literally sorry Dude, I, would be I, too. I literally yeah. was like i'm gonna focus all my energy into this <laughs> since there's no waves right now so do some research on those karens and yeah. get them arrested for something it, i would yeah, literally have a crazy. private investigator out there insane. i'd be like okay so tell me what have you done who what little is there a kid in your basement <laughs> for every one uh, right? get rid of four more show up weird, yeah, yeah. Psycho. definitely some weird just you know if they're weirdos like that i always look at who they are i, I know some good people that can do some digging that's and then we'll get those guys <laughs> you know? yeah 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 it's it's just crazy i have this i have a Ton of support from the wave riding community. Yeah, Surf from Magazine crazy. did an article on me. The Inertia, KTLA Five, Spectrum One, all these different agencies. Obviously, we're talking about it here. Thank you for having us Absolutely. on this podcast. Well, you're an OG too. In my book, you're an OG. Yeah, well, so well, yeah, you yeah. said those I mean, OGs, but you're in my. You've been OG. here your whole life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't get at Solag Local without being an OG. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll. Daily logic check. Here's another situation I was thinking about. Um, California, their number one revenue source is property tax. Okay. Yeah. So they get over $8 billion a year. Orange County. In Orange County alone in property tax. That is the number one way that they make their money. Yep. Okay. So the fact that the water is washing away property and right. damaging their <laughs> revenue seems ass backwards okay. totally. and tourism. So you got yeah. property taxes and tourism and they are fucking that up yeah. by going like, stay inside, get the footballs off the beach, get the Frisbees. You guys are useless. Quit playing in the water. Go inside and play on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I think it's crap. It's, it's, oh, it's, now we're going to outlaw that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we're not yeah, yeah. Are we all just going to sit there and wait for them to tell us what to do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, now like the new tax we're, a new tax we're implementing <laughs> is air tax. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you want so, to breathe. <laughs> I was waiting so, for a so, laugh. No, but just put a laugh track on that for us, guys. Like, are you serious? <laughs> no crickets, please. Yeah. So it's just, it's it's ridiculous. No, nah, we thought you were serious. Like, wait, we're, they are? They're, 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 <laughs> no, 100% agree, because it's California. You yeah. never know. You never know. It's just, it's it's ridiculous. It's out of, it's so, insane. So has anyone even supported you or been on your side regarding you guys really are promoting tourism? Like, that's a big revenue source for oh, SoCal. Oh, with our, oh, with yeah. our I mean, content, even, yeah. Even yeah. just skimboarding in general. I mean, that was a like that was a whole other issue. The beginning of the year, like, Laguna Beach took over Aliso Beach, which was a county beach prior. Okay. And the beginning of the year, they tried to, like, essentially outlaw skimboarding on Aliso Beach. Wow. Basically from the hours of, like, what was, like, 7.30 a.m. all the way to, like, 5 p.m. They're like... Okay, that's pretty much like outlawing a sport that literally brought so many people from around the world. Well, your but video. Like, it's, yeah. I mean, it's like any city or place or location, if they have something that is so embedded in their culture, like skimboarding is with Laguna, you think you want to like promote that and, yeah. you know, and really lean into that. And it's like, they're just like, hey, we're going to make this black ball until October. So literally, okay. So I had to go to a bunch of... I turned into a Greg, and I had to go to a bunch of city council <laughs> meetings. Greg, there's a Karen. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Because I was like, there. this is insane. This is like the reason I moved here in the first place. was From Georgia, right? Yeah, for Aliso Beach. So, yeah. so March 1st of last year, 2023, there was a historic land transition. The, the county of Orange County OC Parks gave the land and the beaches south of Treasure Island to Three Arch Bay because it used to be county property. Okay. 
up until March 1st of last okay. year. So, so then, recent. So then they gave them the property and they gave them $22 million oh. with the property, right? Bro, I want that. It. Exactly. <laughs> to help, because that's, that's, that's what- To help build it, develop, they pro- Well, no, no, no. What? That's what they projected that the, that the county wasn't having to pay. Don't quote me on this, but I, I believe the research that I did, lots of research the, that I did was basically- they that's how much they figured that they would be saving by not managing these properties for like five years wow. so they gave that money to and i think it's in different phases but anyway so they took the the property over and so laguna well uh, south laguna was annexed into laguna in 1986 andrew do you feel a little bit um like he knows more than you I'm going to give you guys some history, this. some Andrew details. Andrew 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 and he knows everything, but you going should into know the, everything. So, uh, going into the details the Laguna here. Beach history right So, now. so yeah, 1986, awesome. yeah, awesome. South Laguna was annexed into Laguna Beach. Just the, like, not the beaches, because the county kept the beaches. It was all county property, right? So then Everything up to the sand. Exactly. So then, and then uh, the beaches were still county property. And then the county, last year, transitioned. It was a big historic land transition. And uh, there was some politics behind it, I'm sure. Of course. And so basically, the city came in, and they were like, okay, we don't understand how people can coexist, how the public, the tourists, the wave riding community, the surfers, the bodyboarders, and the skimboarders can all operate together without a black ball, which is, you know, the area where they don't want certain board sports to be, or they allow certain board, board sports. Okay. They just came in and started regulating well, everything? Well, the, the Aliso Beach always had a black ball in the summer months, right? In the summer months, it was like, all right, because there's a lot of tourism there, a lot of people. So a certain area would, area would be designated for mm. skimboarding and surfing. Okay. But the other beaches south of that never had a black ball ever. And so wow. we had to go fight and say, hey, like, they wanted to put a black ball at 9th Street, 10th Street Beach. And we're like, you, what are you talking about? They, they couldn't wrap their head around, like, how do they, how do they co mingle? How do they, how does this work? It's been working for decades. Yeah, right. it's no problem. Yeah. And so, are, are these new appointed people? In- no, it's 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 basically a lot of you know c- certain people. They they don't want to get sued. Is right. what it okay. is. So you know? is it like they're used to overregulating their beaches? They got control of more beaches. They're like, well, we should overregulate these beaches too. Exactly. Because they're now under and so, our control. And so during this, a lot of this, the icing on the cake was during COVID. So because COVID happened. Well, they were county beaches back then, right? And so the city of Laguna Beach shut down all their beaches during COVID, except they had no control right. over those county beaches, which was technically in their in the city. But the county's like, no, we're not shutting down the beaches. So, yeah, I heard they were oh, open. so they were I still open. Yeah. Yeah. If Greg dies tomorrow, he didn't kill himself. Yeah, I didn't kill myself. <laughs> I did not kill myself. I did not. I did I not. Have have to live. Yeah. 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 No, he's a he's a Laguna Beach whistleblower. <laughs> I, I did not Jeffrey Epstein myself. <laughs> like, like his videos, breaking news. Greg Viviani found yeah. missing. <laughs> oh, wait, found missing? Well, I'm confused. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. So it's just. The politics are crazy, and what I'm trying to portray with my videos is like education, trying to show people that how yeah. ridiculous these laws would be if they're implemented about not digging the creek out, and then also trying to motivate people to get outside, like you were saying, like TikTok or on their phone. We're creating content for people to enjoy on their phones, but also what I'm trying to do is to promote Southern hey, California. Go get outside, go enjoy the beach, yeah. go, you know, after you watch our videos. But go. She's in the morning and then go out. We need those hits, we need those streams. Go be healthy. You know, health is wealth is what I'm trying to promote for yeah. sure. So No, I mean, it's it's just such a vibe that what you guys are creating, what you guys are, and who you are. I mean, I'm I we're from the Midwest. We're from Missouri. So we don't I mean, I know nothing about Missouri. Yeah, I used to always call it Missouri. <laughs> Missouri. Call, we call it Missouri. 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 Yeah, Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. Call it Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. Luke, Luke is also from Missouri. 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 We don't know where Michael's from. He just. <laughs> but you That's know, fine. and it's it's fun because I I we grew up we grew up coming to Southern California. Our family was part of our family was from here, and I always said I'm going to live on that beach because I remember being a little girl going. Which beach? Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. I live yeah, actually. Yeah. I bought a house. Right in front of the beach, well, and I have a picture with my dad. Manifestation. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, literally. It's truly amazing. Her house in looks at the first time she's ever in the ocean. That's first amazing. time I was ever in the ocean, we got, I did We got a not picture of her as a little girl house. walking into the ocean, and now she has a house that can see that spot. Yeah. That's nice. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I still have that. It has a surf area, too. It's got like a, I didn't even know what it was. It was a little garage. And they're like, that's for surfboards. I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's so cool. It goes underneath the house. It has hydraulics, and it lifts up, and like you can put surfboards in there. Um but anyway, so, but my, my, you know, I've always loved what, you know, knowing about California and I just said, I've got to live there. I don't know what drew me to the ocean, even though I'm scared of the ocean, what drew me towards it. It looks what? pretty. 
So, I, so, I want so, yeah. the yacht yeah. that goes I mean, on top of the ocean, and I can look at you guys sparkles. in the apples. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, of speaking of like pretty, like not just like the like the top part of the ocean and the waves, like. We've created videos oh, snor snorkeling and like it's it's oh, amazing and like awesome. all the all the wildlife that's underneath. It's yeah, like yesterday was a, a banger of, of a day for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah it's like, like paddle boarding with dolphins and then coming on the way back, a big whale just popped up right next to me. Did you hear that? It's a banger of a day. Get yeah, it's a banger of a day. Make sure you note know, no banger of a day. Yeah. 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 We stacked I'm gonna some say clips. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning all the lingo today. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Bangers. What else am I learning? <laughs> Stack some clips. Yeah. Get, get the footy. Get the footy. Drop some files. <laughs> so pitted. Uh, don't do the '90s thing. Don't do this. <laughs> no, no, that's Shaka. so good. Shaka's good. Like, yeah, that's so, timeless. That's, yeah, that's that'll last forever. Believe yeah. it or not, I did film for a month in Costa Rica. I was a wow. golfer. I did a golf television series, 45 shows around the world. Oh, so you golf too. Yes, I was okay. a lady host, and I, they would throw me out of an airplane, land on hole nine, and tee off. Um, <laughs> they would I would rappel down glaciers, and then I what? would tee off. Yeah. What, is, what was this um, on? Good time golf. It was really? pre-internet. That should have been on a travel No, it was, was, no, no, it was not pre-internet. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it was on VHS? Yes, yes, I think so. <laughs> you do no, have no. to convert it to I think, digital. I think it was where they just, uh, they, there was no VHS. I ate. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did a full month in... In um, Costa Rica, and uh, you know, we I golfed all at all the golf courses, and that's amazing. San, flew Super jealous. Jose, and then we Super you know, and <laughs> yeah, I saw the you know played with the monkeys. <laughs> I mean, hang out with the monkeys. What I say? <laughs> played with the monkeys. <laughs> 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 with the monkeys. <laughs> what do you do with monkeys? Yeah, yeah. Well, they were like sitting there while we were eating, and then you know yeah. we had a big pig that was on the beach. Um, then there was we went to the Crocodile River openings and. You know, didn't get in those, but you know, yeah. uh, got bit by a mosquito, got really, really, really ill. Um, all thought I was gonna in, die. But she won't uh, get in the ocean. Wait, wait, I, wait! That's another thing to add to the creek situation. Mosquitoes form with stagnant water, no, which is very and, they, and they're the number malaria. one. And they're the number one killer in the in the world. In the world. So, so that's yeah. What sorry. are the stats on mosquitoes? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I got so ill. They said she might be airlifted out of here, and I Jesus. was. I had to interview a bunch of people, and I was like, "This sucks." Did Paul. you have malaria, or what did you get? I don't know. I, to this day, I have no idea yeah. what I wow. had. But doesn't malaria lingers on for the rest of your life, right? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I feel mm. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong with you. We figured it out. <laughs> that's what happened. That's yeah, what it's happened. It's not the vodka. I thought I was like, we dropped you as a baby. Yeah. When I do this, it's because I just eat three times. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, so that's what I was thinking about your crick is that, you, you know, uh, my dog was um, during, right before COVID, he jumped, he got out of my house, jumped into a golf course lake. Mm. little pond and was poisoned and we didn't know what was wrong with oh him God. so he started uh convulsing and he started not breathing right we took him to the vet and they said oh he, he and what happened to him where was he well he had actually jumped into this stagnant water that just sits there on those golf courses oh yeah he chased a duck so there was duck shit there was bacteria and apparently every sort of a deadly virus whatever was in, in there jeez and um he didn't he drank it and almost died Three times over the. You That's know, terrible, man. It was horrible. And he still has. So imagine if. Yeah, I always think about like, if damaged. I get a hole in one, the first thing I'm going to do is like, because every par three <laughs> has water, you're going to run in there and just jump in the water. But now after that story, I think. <laughs> I'm, maybe not. Maybe yeah. Yeah. not. Maybe yeah. I'll just like roll around on the green or something. Well, you want water to flow. And if it doesn't yeah. flow, you're going to get poisoned. Like, yeah. do not do it. I'm so. No, I'm not doing I want to see you sitting like this. I don't want to see <laughs> yeah. you sitting like yeah. this. Yeah. And, and the, the, you've got a. How big is the reservoir that. Right, like fall that up. Okay, so back with the creek situation. Yeah, so yeah. basically, like we're on creek talk today. Well, I was, creek creek talk. Dun, 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 breaking creek. news so, on Daily Logic. Yeah. Thing is, we have creek issues. Stagnant water is bad. <laughs> stagnant, stagnant water that wouldn't naturally be stagnant is bad. So is it like? But it, it naturally kind of flows itself every couple of days. Yeah, it'll break. It'll but breach we don't know on where its own. It's gonna go. It'll breach on its own, but okay. it'll be like left okay. and right and, uh, and down. So and it's here not and near there. a second, but it does mosquitoes. I mean, that's horrible. yeah. So like the first thousand feet from the sand upstream, it it it's okay. So the creek will trickle down from upstream, and when it's not in like the non-rainy season, and then it and then it pulls into this deep area, 
and the deep area is like a thousand feet from the sand upstream. But eventually fills up. I'm just and picturing it fills him, up somebody with like a stagnant. hanger pulling him off the creek, like fuck, it's creek. Again. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I, I, this is, I cannot believe <laughs> putting a net over his face in, a, in a million years that I'd be so involved with this. But I, I'll tell you what, when you get it, when you see an email behind the scenes and it's bad, <laughs> and it's got your name on it. Dude, I tell you, it was the best motivation I've ever had in my life. Oh yeah, because someone's really trashing what you yeah. believe in, which yeah, is bullshit. Yeah, it's like slander. Yeah, I think you can yeah. sue somebody. For it's that. behind the scenes slander. Which is, it, well, yeah. I'm a ho uh, the housewife thing. I'm used to the whole bullshit behind the scenes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we love you. You're so great. Oh, I bet. Yeah. And then the and then the <laughs> behind closed doors. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> it's, just, it's it's crazy, but uh, like to stay to stay uh, positive and to keep you know relevant with like filming and you know with Austin Keen and GoPro and all this this cool stuff that we're able to do. Like, it's the Creek <laughs> situation is very. Very demanding. serious, Andrew. It's very demanding. No, it's, it's very... I, I've seen lots of videos of that, and I didn't realize that. that but I want, it, I want it to come yeah. to a point where the city can compromise with the wave riding community, because we have a lot of people behind this, to just be like, hey, okay, let people dig it out when it's, the yeah. beaches aren't crowded. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. Stay up. It's that easy. Dig it out from here to here if you can. It's yeah. all yeah. Time just to this cleanse time. your body. It's yeah. like yeah. female and other... And then, and, then <laughs> <laughs> like, and then if there's waves, we don't just do it for you. You start corking it, you're going to have some problems. Yeah. It's like our bodies. <laughs> you held in your shit forever. Because yeah, because um, mosquitoes will form. They have formed in that area that sits stagnant, and it's yeah. like yeah. You, your story with the mosquito, and it's like. Yeah. And then you are passionate about this. I mean, we're we're not we're laughing, but some it's people call me crazy. Matter. But hey, I got a lot of motivation. Hey, that, that's we, that's a good thing. Yeah. No, I, I you know, you guys have teamed up as friends. I met and him. I met you met like at the beach at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, he wasn't doing the uh, well, like GoPro eight, stuff originally. You were kind of just like hanging out on the beach, getting some photos yeah. with the camera. I think it was like nine years ago. <laughs> yeah. Where can people go to, I guess, sign your petition, or where can they? What can my audience do? What? what right now, if I, we were to post this and put so a little link, a what do they do? So there's a local fund. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. For only ten cents a day, you too <laughs> you can feed. You can Solag save local. this many lives. <laughs> you can you can no. feed a Solag local. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Oh my god. I no. Love so it. like change.org. And it's no more useless laws at Aliso Beach, and and you could go sign that petition. That will help. Change the and word. and then also, um, if you just engage with our content, you know, like, comment, share, save. What's your Instagram again? It's so lag local. S O L A G L O C A L. What does that mean? It's Am I secret. lame? It's secret. So it's like, like South Laguna. South Laguna. Yeah. South Laguna. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, so L-A-G? No. Local. Like, yeah. S-O like, is like South. L-A-G yeah, is like Laguna. Yeah. Okay. And then local. I didn't do the G. I did the so L-A. I'm like, but he's not L-A. No, so why is so he like, like, so L-A? Like, I, I just, I got that <laughs> handle like years ago and it stuck. Oh. And I was like, you know what? This is kind of cool. I, I like, thought you were like the G local. Because in Housewives, we're like, you got the OG local. Like he missed the O in the front. So confused. Yeah. So okay, okay, so but, but yeah, just and then you know helping engage with our content that we create is really helpful as well. So okay. keeps the ball rolling. Keep keep the and you're on you're on every platform. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, everything. Everything, Kick, everything you can imagine. Twitch. And he's gonna he's gonna donate a percentage of his energy bars. To, you just launched an energy bar line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the segue there. I like the segue. You know, I'll just say, yeah, I just for the segue. Sure that when he, all of his pennies, he's no, making No, 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 he actually, no, I'll say Vitamin Bar. I will give a shout out to Vitamin Bar, and Austin's hooked me up with a lot of product, and I, it, it keeps me fueled on the beach and keeps me rolling, and, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a good thing to eat before we film, and even during and after. It's a good, well, okay, it's a great product. We've never actually had okay. a plug of a product on our thing, but I really really love your bar. I tried it, it's amazing. Thank so, you, So yeah. I was like, I only promote, everyone knows me, knows I only promote shit I like. I don't I don't get paid to promote anything. I don't, no one pays me to, I don't pr promote, like a lot of the housewives will promote like these little vibrators and weird shit. Like if I don't like it. Paid. Just to get paid. Just okay. to get paid, uh, and yeah. I can't do it. And if I don't, you know, weird curling irons, or st I don't Greg do would my promote hair. a vibrator to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there's a GoPro attachment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, anyway. nice. <laughs> now we got, now we're, yeah. now this, we're This set's fair. Second set's an only, yeah. only can. To, only cans. Only, only cans. Only cans. <laughs> <laughs> only cans. <laughs> but no, and so, um, I, I, can you show everybody your bar? So you just launched this. How'd you get involved in this yeah, bar? Yeah, so, what is uh, this? 
short, long story short, uh, I have, uh, we got this pro protein bar, pro nutrition athlete. bar, energy bar, whatever you want to call it. It's vitamin bar. This bar is basically the most comprehensive bar on the market. It's 25% of your daily intake vitamins from plant-based sources, 15 plus superfoods, one gram of sugar, 13 grams of protein. So you can kind of put it, it's kind of, it's really its own category, but tastes great too. So but were you in, the pro helps. were you there in the process of formulating it? Were you uh, yeah, start so to I mean, so it's not white labeled. You yeah, actually going back made it. to how I got involved, a friend of mine from Georgia, Zach Broom, he started, he developed a brand, developed a product initially, and he reached out to me. We haven't talked since we didn't really even know each other that much. We just had mutual friends in like middle school, and he reached out. He found out, found me on Instagram, reached out. Pro athlete, and he's, yeah, yes. he's like, and I get you know I get hit with all kinds of small companies wanting yeah. to promote and this and that, and I was just like. Hey, it's another guy from Savannah trying to live the dream. Let's see what he's got. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So he yeah. sent me some bars, and when he sent me the box, um, can I see I was, one of the bars? Can, oh yeah. Or can you reach? So it? I was uh, blown away by the the product, just the packaging, the the bar itself. So we started working together on this for the past two and a half, two years, and um, we've refined the the product like three times. So now we got it in a place we're very happy with it. I didn't always have the superfoods. So you, you got to put your input into making it. I mean, me and him have been working directly with each other and co-packers to basically, and food scientists to work with, make, make the best bar possible. It doesn't that's taste a, like crap. That's a chocolate chip. It doesn't. It and it's yeah, it doesn't not, taste like it's, shit. It's, it's not, not chalky. It's not chalky. So we're not going for like, you know, super protein bar, 25 grams of protein, but you right. got, these guys put seed oils, alcohol, sugars, all kinds of bullshit in the product, and people are just fighting for zero sugar, no high GMOs. protein. No GMOs. No GMOs. <laughs> okay, it's good. vegans, plant-based protein. Okay. Um, I mean, we've had this product looked at at, I mean, people at Kellogg's and Nestle, and yeah, they, they 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 don't even know what to do because they're like, damn, all of our products are like, you know, marketed as healthy, but they know and... they know that's it's bullshit product because they're trying to fight for margins. So yeah. we figured out how to you know have a a product that still has a good margin for us. It's a good quality product, tastes great, and. Uh, yeah, where, where honestly, you, it's it's all it? it's all real food. It's got a twelve month shelf life. Too, I can taste so. a little bit of grass, <laughs> <laughs> like a little. Where, where can you get good. this? Stuff? It might where be at fifteen at? superfoods, huh? Where can you get them at? Uh, so you can get us on our website, eatvitaminbar.com, and then we're distributed nationwide in Vitamin Shop. It's about seven hundred fifty stores. So you wow. just eat these in the morning before you go out? Uh, I eat them in the morning. Like sometimes, I if I don't have a breakfast and I'm on the go, I'll mm -hmm. eat it in the morning. I eat one almost every day in the afternoon because I have to. My problem is I have a high metabolism, and if I and I have diabetes run through my family, I don't think I have it. But if I don't eat for periods of time, I get really bad migraines, like ocular migraines, wow. and they'll trigger like as soon as I'm like depleted a little bit. So I have to always keep myself fueled. Oh, so you have you have actually a physiology issue where you need to yeah. eat something like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, and we find a lot of our customers do have some sort of you know food allergies or whatever it is. I mean, we do have nuts in it. So if you're allergic to peanuts, Be it's not for then you. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. So they can't serve these on the airplane then? No, actually, well, we are actually uh, talking to Delta right now. We got these little mini fuels or like mini bite-sized versions. So Without pe peanuts or with peanuts? Uh, I mean, it's got peanut butter. So I think it's not like straight peanuts. So yeah. it's not like Just really all the, yeah. Everything's got a these would be great. I always wondered why. I, I, I'm a freak when it comes to protein bars. Yeah. I cannot find any... Because I'll get them thinking, I'll watch an advertisement and I'll go get them. And I know a lot of women, we like to just eat really quick. Yeah. We don't want to eat a big meal. But I read the back after I get them. I'll see an ad. I'll go to the grocery, you know, wherever. I'll buy it, like a Luna bar or something. And I'm like, what the f is in this? Well, I mean, you tons can. Of sugar, tons of just, tons crap. Of just crap. And then crap. I'm like, yeah. so I just literally have not had And then the bar. ones that don't have sugar have all this other bullshit binders and sh like sugar alcohols and stuff to basically. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Just take that anyway. No, that's a better place for it. Uh, so they have all this stuff in it, but <laughs> I think the like the best part about these bars though is like we're trying to put more into the bar. Everybody's trying to compete to take everything out of it, and we're actually doing having a bar that moves the needle in your health. So you have tw like if you look at the nutritional panel, we have like twenty five. No, it's really good. Twenty five percent of your daily. It's Andrew, like you athletic greens in a bar. If Andrew likes it, here's the oh, this is not. a test. I was gonna say <laughs> if you Andrew try likes the blueberry. it, then it's a good bar. Let's try Andrew. Well, I mean, you like it. blueberry, coconut, have vanilla, Andrew almond. Just try one. I'll do he, vanilla almond. He okay, can't this is gonna be like vanilla, anything. Vanilla, almond, this almond. one's like really like light on flavor, so it's not okay. like super overpowering. But um, he doesn't like anything. He eats fast food every day. 
That's all it eats. You're not going to like it. He's not our target demographic. No. So if he likes this, but it's if gonna, he likes this, this yeah. is going to be like a taste of, And you've got to be super I, I, honest with my audience. See, I, I, do, I do the intermittent fasting. I, I only eat like six yeah. hours a day. He doesn't even know how to open a healthy <laughs> product. Look at this. How, how does this work? He <laughs> knows how to open a burger. How do I open wrapper? the pack? <laughs> I'm going to say I like the blueberry one. <laughs> yeah, the blueberry is probably the most. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can literally yeah. smell yeah. the blueberry from here. Yeah. I love blueberry. My favorite is the two, like. So good. Peanut butter ones, coconut peanut butter, cocoa peanut butter. Wow. It's amazing. I'm no, not that's kidding. actually really, actually, really good. Actually, that's really good. So that's the only one right, that on, has uh, four grams of sugar too. compared to one because of the blueberries. What's that? We put real blueberries, blueberries in it. Put, you want to hand that to Andrew, me? These are actually really good. It's I'll really take it. I'm not worried. Okay, I'm so uh, I'm not trying to be a sales pitch um, asshole, but I did want to actually be honest on camera with the, our first product, and this is a very good product. I yeah. don't know how, yeah. it seems to be healthy. And just use code Vargas20 to get <laughs> <laughs> No, no I don't have a code, just go to his website or buy it. Daily Logic Check. As, as cool as an athlete, you get a, um, you know, promote products and promote, and it's, it always gets annoying to me when it, there's a product that you, you know very well they don't support. Yeah. Like, yeah. the football guys have some stupid product. They're like, oh, yeah, this is, I use this every day. You're and like, you do not use that deodorant. One day they do shit. Coke, the next day they do Pepsi. And that's why I'm so excited about this, because, like, yeah. I've been doing that for a long time, been an influencer. Yeah. I hated that term for the longest time. So did I. Just had a... <laughs> Just go with it, but like I've been in social media for a long time. I've been yeah. promoting brands. I've never promoted anything that I don't believe in. Like all the sponsors we work with, all the products, we've I've only you know promoted stuff that that I use myself or I. Are I you enjoy. a self promoter? Oh, just uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I thought that was open. Anyway. <laughs> I, would say, I would say also another another thing that I have been pretty impressed with Austin in is that like. His whole journey from Georgia to where he's at now, and like yeah. how he yeah. got from, came from Georgia, how came out to happen? Laguna, and like it's crazy. It's cool yeah, story. I grew up surfing, and I mean, it would ha need a whole another podcast for the whole yeah. story. Yeah, because yeah. I, I yeah, just yeah, researched but, you. Uh, yeah, reason. I just grew up. Long story short, I grew up in Savannah. I was born and raised in Savannah, Georgia. Grew up surfing there on the coast of Georgia, taking surf trips to Florida. You grew up doing surf contests up and down the East Coast, and oh. then. Got into skimboarding because it was something I could do to take advantage of like these small waves in Georgia. And uh, yeah, I saw what they were doing in Laguna Beach, saw a VHS tape of like Bill Bryan and all the legends <laughs> and, and Solag. And uh, yeah, I was like, I want to go there. And I remember watching like the like the the Liso like daily photo report on online and I saw Liso Beach, similar to your story. Yeah. Where I saw Liso Beach and I was like I wanna be there. I wanna be at that beach. And yeah. uh now it's like where I get coffee and check the waves every morning. And Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah. Manifest it. Manifest. <laughs> I was huge believer in manifestation. I you're I don't really know good what at, happens yeah. in my life, but if I think something, I gotta be careful. Manifestation with action for sure. Yeah. 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 She's but I agree. Really I always get it. sketched out that because like I feel like I've manifested a lot of stuff in my life. So like whenever I have like just like, you know, my brain often goes in weird places and I'm like, wait, don't think about that. We don't want, we don't want that in our lives. Yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, the same thing. The like, you really get freaked out. Like, I, like I, I know our mom, she's a big manifester as well. Yeah. And so it, people think, oh, it's just, you know, hypothetical. Blah, blah, blah. It's not real, real. And I'm thinking to myself, have you seen my life? I am not college educated. <laughs> <laughs> you can manifest Some work out. Yeah, Something yeah. is manifesting I mean, well. Yeah. Right? Currently, I'm trying to manifest another couple inches on my height. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been vertically challenged my whole life. It's okay. Yeah, I, I, I live with it. it. I, I'm perfectly okay with it. I'm that. manifesting <laughs> a, a global 7500 and a 67 uh, foot that goes on my dome. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. I like I'm it. manifesting, yeah. manifesting, manifesting. manifesting. I would love to have my podcast on a yacht. That would be, be amazing. Phenomenal. That'd be great. Yeah, I, I think you get a lot of guests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when are we coming back? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the no, we actually hey. got you guys paddle boards. We were gonna try and do like you know some sort of an outtake, you know, with the. But then it was like we yeah I just, we, we, we didn't really you know the no waves here. There's no well, yeah. but no paddle boards. You want I know I you know. want uh, moist. I mean uh, <laughs> moist. You want butter. Buttery. 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 Yeah. buttery. Yeah, it's got to be buttery. Gotta be buttery. Gotta be buttery. <laughs> Daily logic check. Oh, another thing I want to talk about was because you're an athlete, and you hurt and harm your body regularly, you're always pushing yourself to that next limit. 
I saw that you do cold plunge. Are you yeah. involved in a clinic somewhere? Yeah, so I did. I got super into cold plunging. Like I did uh, I, I love my manager, actually, my good friend and manager, Reed, he gifted me a Wim Hof session. This was like four years ago, maybe okay. five now. But uh, for my birthday, he's like, yeah, because he heard me talking about it. Yeah. And he got me like this Wim Hof like workshop breathing class they do. And that was my first like actual ice bath where like you're You've never at this, been in like a 40 Never been in. No, this was ice. This was like pure ice. Where they just dump ice in it? It was like one of those up. metal things with just like. Raw. 20% water, 80% <laughs> ice. It was nuts. And I was like, holy shit, I'm kind of scared to do this right now. Like I never like, you know, and then I did oh, it. I and then too. like it was painful as hell the first time I did it. But when I came out, it was. Incre- it was incredible. Like dopamine increase. Like Euphoria your body feels, feels like amazing. Crazy. And I remember growing up in Georgia, like every, you know, first of the year we do like a polar, like me and my family polar do plunge. a polar plunge just for the fun of it. And you, and the water only got like maybe 48, 50, yeah. but like it was, a, you get in that, you're shocked, you know, like in the ocean, yeah. the water's moving around and you come out and just, I remember feeling every day after that, like it was the morning. You just felt brand new. Yeah. You know? and I, I did one right before you guys got here. Oh, nice. I literally yeah, said, I, saw I was it so walking tired. In. That's yeah. cool. I'm like, you know what? The only thing that's going to wake my ass up is if I jump in that plunge yeah. and greet you guys on the street. <laughs> yeah. So I got, I basically got addicted to cold plunge yeah. or ice baths. And I saw, I started going to Ralph's, getting like 12 pa- bags of ice, <laughs> like having to make three trips from my car to like the bathtub. And then eventually got the Home Depot, like flower trough thing. That is hilarious. Started doing it there. Making and I was your own like, home. So you were making a home. It, well, it was, it was such a pain in the ass. The one, buy like $80 worth of ice, lug it from yeah, the car to the backyard for like literally two to three minutes of torture. I was like, this is not sustainable. <laughs> so I started like Googling. I was like, is there anywhere that I could just go do an ice bath? Right. And then um, all I found was like cryo places. So I, so I started trying that and it wasn't the same. Like, I mean, you got a little bit of like, a, maybe a little bit of a chill, but it was not like hitting hard and as yeah. deep as like the yeah. cold plunge. The old ones. So I was like, there's, there's no place you can literally go knock out a cold plunge. So I was like that, I had the idea for like four years to have a cold plunge studio. Okay. And um, like a community vibe, just kind of how I experienced my first time. And you want people around you to hype yeah. you up and talk you through it. Well, you need to, because it's a challenge to yeah. jump in that water. Yeah. Like you so mentally we- need to just Blank yourself right. out. The exactly. first time I did it was at your birthday party at your house. You yeah, we had a little cold house. plunge party. Actually, oh, my God. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. that, was the, that was the COVID party, actually. Yeah. So that I, is so I been, cool. It was a super I, I was avoiding COVID for <laughs> two and a half years. I was traveling. I was I going swear. to Florida where, like, they didn't give a shit about COVID. I was going to the Caribbean. <laughs> I mean, You're I went, so to, Orange I went County. to Europe. Like, I was like everywhere. I was like on planes, everything. I was like, <laughs> oh, I, was, like I'm, I think I was like, maybe I'm just – Immune to this <laughs> shit. <laughs> and then on my birthday, I have a party and we're like, we're like getting everybody in the cold plunge, have a good time. And one of our buddy texts us the next day, Hey guys, I do tests. He works in Hollywood costume. I got design. COVID. He's like, Just let you guys know, I tested positive for COVID. And we're like, Shit. <laughs> and then, like, sure enough, it was like almost like two hours later, I started feeling achy yep. and this and that. Yep. I was like, It got me in my own damn house. <laughs> All over uh, the world, and it got yeah. me in your house. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's how it works. But I mean, so did you get in the cold plunge after you got COVID? Did it make no, you feel better? Uh, I mean, once you're, when you're, when you're like really sick, you're not really super hyped to get in the cold water because you're shivering and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you're already cold. It's more of a preventative. Like, it does, it had, there's science behind like, uh, uh, helping your immunity. It's got like, it's amazing when you really go into what has actually been researched over the past no, I love it. five I'm years. Addicted. Like it helps so much stuff from like psychologically to your nervous system to even burning fat, creating brown fat. Um, like there's so much that uh, it helps. Where, so. Where's your clinic at? Uh, it's right on PCH. Um, What's the website? Uh, cold plunge therapy lounge. Cold if you just look up like lounge. we're in Dana Point, just look up cold plunge lounge and Dana Point. It'll pop up. I bought one from my house because they're booked. Everywhere I tried to get in was booked. Yeah. Cold plunge. I, I was like, what is this? Must be. And then they started a social media. You you'd yeah, see what, it. What temperature do you recommend? So I always recommend like your first time. Just do like always have somebody with you. Don't just do it solo. You know. Uh, <laughs> really? Why I jumped, is I jumped that? Enough. I don't know. You know, like there, like there's. There could be like. Should I jump in? So there's very rare cases of no, people. I forget. First time. First it's time. cold water shock. Like so, you don't want to get in a situation where you're so shocked. Oh, I haven't seen okay, it happen okay. one time. We've had like probably thousand people through our studio over the course of you okay. know a year and a half. But 
Uh, I haven't seen that happen. The only, the only side effects we've seen, it's been like three times, is it's called ambrosic amnesia, if I'm saying it right. Huh. So it's basically like people have had like temporary amnesia when they get out of it. Really? Oh. Yeah. And we're like we're a little worried, but there's no like, there's actually long-term no. Long-term side effects. No, there's no it. long-term. It's but not it's, like but bad. But it's trippy. Yeah. It's, I mean, I imagine. I, I was wondering. I was kind of pissed it didn't happen to me, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro, how, cool. how much colder do I get to get some of that? You know? <laughs> Forget how to skim board. What temperature do you go in? Uh, so I do like 37. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, I can I only do, do 41. I did a 38 degree lake. 41 is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like So if you do like, I say mid 40s is a good starting point. And then um, even if you want to start at 50, I like. I started at 48. 49. There's some guys who are like, oh, all you need is 50 degrees. But I'm like, yeah, no. if you want to stand there for 10 minutes. Like if you, you could tell the difference. Like once you get under 43 or something yep. like that, every degree matters. And you could just I, tell like it penetrates and it just yeah. hits way harder. I keep my I hands on my butt cheek. I degree lake just the other day. It keeps it was, me warm uh, right there. Yeah. And a lake is different really cool. too because. Yeah, and if I move my hands. Turmoil. Guess, every, yeah. Well, you're, you're not creating a thermal barrier. So no. bigger body of water, you have more water density pushing down your body. And also there's. In a, in a small tub, you can actually stay still. You'll create this thermal barrier. I think Andrew uh, would bear to, or would differ. He jumps in our lake. In that's, what, that's what we're talking about. Uh -oh. we, yeah. I got on the lake, and it was it was 38 degrees, and it was... Snowing. It was Well, that was with the, my niece. She's like, for her birthday, for her 16th birthday, she wanted to go polar plunging with all her friends. I'm like, well, if you're going to go, I'm going to go. Yeah. And so we jumped in. It was miserable. Oh, yeah. I started yeah. it. But how'd you feel afterwards? It was, I felt proud. great, but I think, yeah. I, I, you know, it's, it was weird how... Quick, I felt not cold anymore. Yeah, for, yeah. Well, you just like, are numb. Yeah. You're yeah. in there. You're like, this is the coldest I've ever felt ever. And then within three minutes of being out of the water, you feel fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, and that's, that's the weird part. That's what that was. What was the hardest for me. part is that for anybody watching wanting to try a cold plunge, the hardest part is that first. 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. If you can get past that first 30 seconds. I didn't. I didn't get past that. <laughs> yeah. Really, all you have to do is get to the point where you can take a nice sigh of relief breath like that. As soon as you are able to get yourself to take that breath, you yeah. now conquered that. You've like told your body who's in charge, and you've conquered that that fear, that psychological flight, fight or flight mode. Oh, I pretend I'm on stage naked, and I'm standing in front of a bunch of people I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get this over with. Get this over with. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. I got this. I got this. I got this. Daily logic check. So you so you said that you have diabetes in your family. Do you think that if you don't have it, or you don't that you know of. No. Do you think that, as far as you know, being a little bit, some people that are a little overweight, diabetic. I mean, I was Anything told that healthy. if you're overweight, to get in the cold plunge because it helps boost your metabolism. It helps yeah. you. I mean, Burn after fat. they eat your bar, it's a thermogenesis. Obviously. So your body's having to like resupply heat, not only the shock factor, but, but it helps their bodies yeah. metabolize. I guess. Well, yeah, faster. This, yeah. your body's I've lost significant to... weight just jumping. I have not changed my diet. Yeah. I go to the gym a little bit. I have been getting that thing every single day. I do a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on the temperature. Not every day, like f six times a week, five, six times a week. Mentally, I'm better. Yeah. And I just Very mentally clear. feel like I've had some lipo sculpting done on my body. And I feel like, you know, it causes, it causes um, a little bit of scar tissue. And so I don't know if maybe having lipo, you know, when you gain weight at, at an older age, if maybe like it, it, it bear, there's a barrier to entry with like weight loss. Like okay. your cells won't rejuvenate, they won't help you lose weight. Like it's fight or flight, because they're, they're damaged, right? Mm -hmm. From the lipo, which how I should long, never- How long have you had your, I forgot. 10 years or something, but- No, 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 I, I'm talking about your cold plug. I had it for a year and a half, a year and a, no, no. August 7th, they delivered it here when I bought the house. Oh, but nice. anyway, so my, my thought was maybe the cold plunge, I guess it's like the infrared sauna that you saw. It gets deep in you and allows your cells to rejuvenate that damage. Yeah, you're definitely cell doing maybe. cellular re regeneration. Cellular rejuvenation. But then you're also. Because I feel it's doing something. Yeah, your body what. is also having to, like, we have a sauna at our studio, so it allows people to kind of get in the sauna afterwards. I love doing that because I just feel like brand new. Oh, afterwards? Like, I heard you're not supposed to. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, like, I going back been. and forth, doing it before. Okay. But I mean, I will do like five minutes in a steam sauna just to kind of warm your body back up a little bit so you can go, oh, go to your car, not you shivering. But uh, I have a hot I, tub out there. I was told I was going to have a heart attack. No, I would say maybe the hot tub's different, though. Hot water is different. Because oh, wa uh, water is a lot more thermal, whatever it's called, where it can transfer heat way faster. Yeah. So yeah. if you get in a hot tub, you're going to be introducing too much heat too Yeah, quickly. I wouldn't do a cold plunge straight but, to a hot tub. Yeah, yeah, that's why you want it. Yeah. Sauna is just warm. Oh, okay, it's almost got... like sauna is kind of kickstarting your body to create that thermogenesis, re okay. reheat itself. 
But if you want the metabolism benefits, don't do hot, don't do a jacuzzi, don't do a hot uh, a sauna. Just Afterwards. let let your body warm up by itself, and you'll realize you're starving in like an hour. Well, no, that's because your I'm body's eating working this. so I'm hard. I'm super to warm, hungry yeah. and have to pee yeah. right now. It also makes me pee. So yeah. I'm like, God, I need to pee, and I'm hungry. <laughs> right, de- detox, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing if you do the research on. Uh, like all the different effects, like I was blown away, you know, like and yeah. I'm not a doctor or scientist. I haven't done these, but there's so much research that has been done over the past because and that you Wim feel Hoffer. better. So, you know, yeah, yeah, you totally, know your totally. body. it doesn't matter what the science says. You like and when you I go, know when it. I go periods of time without doing the, the cold plunge, it's just like you start itching to get back because you know your body wants but it. But you're also getting older like the rest of us. And yeah. Now you're officially a golfer. I know. So now you have weird yeah. muscles. You have uh, weird uh, muscles. You're using hey, that, That's a sore subject golfer, right now. Right? <laughs> that's like an existential crisis I'm having right now. It's too soon. So I, I feel like I'm, all I'm doing is like business and golfing. I'm like an old old white you? business golfing guy now. I'm trying no. to keep him young. So yeah, I yesterday golf. was like. Let's go here. It's good to do this. Yeah, I finally fed my soul yesterday with some waves. Thank God. Uh, I saw him golfing. I'm like, is this what athletes do when they get older? They go from like football and, you know, wake surfing and surfing to like golf. Every, golf and business. Yeah. Every athlete golfs. Yeah, Every athlete really, on the side golfs. Look at Steph Curry. Oh, He's like yeah, insane. Steph Curry, yeah. Dude could yeah, probably got a whole Go on the B- PGA Tour if you wanted to. Andrew's yeah. a big, big golfer. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm good, but I just love the game. Yeah. I love crushing the There's ball. There's something about golf that like hits all the receptors of yeah. like a, like somebody who's competitive, or highs, self-critical. <laughs> yeah, you want the highs. Like you, like I'm usually like get good at stuff really fast, and like golf is the most humbling sport ever because nobody's gonna like. You might be one of those guys that, like, right away, yeah, you might have naturally be gifted with a nice swing. Yeah. But it always puts you in check. Are you, na- are you naturally gifted? What's that? Are you naturally gifted? I feel like naturally, like, I pick things up really fast because yeah. I don't, I like, sucking at stuff, you know? So, like, <laughs> it's not as fun, yeah. you know? So, like, golf, though, like, I think I already had, like, you know, a natural swing. What do you golf with? Clubs? Huh? What clubs? What clubs? Uh, Callaway. Oh, Callaway. Yeah. I'm a Titleist person. I'm a Titleist. I got to have okay. a Titleist. Do you I'm golf, Greg? No, I do not golf, but but, but I did. We got just, him swinging some clubs. I, I, yeah, though. I hit the balls. You play a few one times, on TV. But yeah. I did just do a 96-hour fast. <laughs> yeah, there you something go. healthy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay, okay. 96 you mean you worked 96 yeah. hours wow. and weren't able to eat? I did not eat. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah exactly. Yeah. Did, did no you do that on purpose? Bars. Yeah, I did. Oh wow. Yeah. No bottom so bar. You were talking about how you, you do intermittent I, fasting. I do the intermittent. The longest I can go is about 16 to 18 hours. Yeah, I did. I tried to do it. I was. I was. Uh, what was the guy? Gary Brecker or I forget his name. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's the guy that did uh, like Dana White's fast, and yeah. I researched it, went into it, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I gotta, you know, just try to get something done. When did you do it? Very mentally. Um, this was about two weeks, two or three. Yeah, because your ago. skin looks vibrant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first 48 hours was horrible. Yeah. The third day, you get a lot of energy. You feel really, really like I was like, holy cow, a lot of energy. I was, and I was, I kept working out. I didn't change my, you know, routine, and then basically just drank a ton of water. And then got to day four, and I was like, okay, I got to eat. Yeah. So it was pretty, that would be crazy. It was pretty nuts. But well, I, I think, you know, food. as far as being an athlete, being a videographer, you guys collaborating on really saving the beaches and, and saving the environment that Orange County is known for, um, it's admirable. And we absolutely love, love, love that you came on the show. Yeah, but, thanks you know, for having us. We, we didn't have Amazing. any real... Thanks for we, welcoming us into your beautiful home. <laughs> This, this is a beautiful set. Oh, we're not, are we supposed crazy. to pretend we're, like we're not at your house? Yeah, we're, no, no, we're not winging it. We're winging it. We're no, like, they're, really they're not winging, winging it. it. This, this is, is, a, this is a, I've been on a lot of podcasts. This is bad. And, and to yeah. show all the viewers out there that, you know, people that are in the water, surfers, skimboarders, videographers, yeah. we're not just a bunch of beach bums. We actually have a little bit of, yeah. you know, intelligence. Little brains. <laughs> little brains. You know, no, you're using them the right way. I think that was important to show the audience, and I really love Orange County, even though we're from the Midwest and then moved to Washington, came down here. I love love Newport Beach and Laguna in, in this in Southern California and yeah, I believe in everything you guys are doing and I hope that ev- everybody out there needs to go to the website and believe in what they're doing because they're not causing problems they're not causing trouble they're not trying to do anything but save the environment like everybody else but in a natural way that's already occurring and so. maybe enjoy a little bit while they're doing it exactly yeah why not <laughs> and so I'm um, on our show Andrew and I um we just, I woke up one morning and said, fuck, I'm doing a podcast. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't really yeah. know what we're doing, but I thought my way of giving back would be to interview locals to really, you know, speak to who you are and, and what your passion is, but also give back. So we are going to give a thousand dollars to each one of you. Whoa. 
but not cash. Oh, so yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only if I get my bars, my Vita bars. No, yeah, right. no, no, just kidding. Um, I think I still need to figure out that for that a charity of, of your yeah. choice. Yeah. So um, I think about that one. Do you guys do you know? One yeah, I think I, I, I think that right off the top of my head, uh, one that kind of hits close to home is the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. They're in Laguna Beach, Laguna Canyon. Okay. And I would definitely use that donation for them for sure. And they're a 501c3? I don't know what that means. Oh, that nonprofit. <laughs> <laughs> How do you five, not five, know, four, eight, You six, know eight, everything. Nine. You're I like, all the yeah. <laughs> nonprofit, yes, they're a nonprofit. They're, they, basically what they do is they rescue, rehabilitate, and release uh, oh, a lot of the local sea life, sea mammals. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A lot of the, the local, you know, really? sea, sea lions, harbor seals, you know, different dolphins they've rescued, different animals, and then they rehabilitate them, and then they put them back and let them go back in the okay. wild. Right so it's on. pretty it's pretty exciting. And then they also do it sometimes they release the the sea lions and the the harbor seals back at Aliso Beach, which is pretty cool. So, that is so you can witness cool. them going running back into the water and That's it's, cool. it's a pretty cool. <laughs> and experience. you're going to get that footage right on your video? I, I 100%. I have fil I have filmed, you know, them going back into the ocean before. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm just yeah. so blessed to have found you online. You're just an awesome videographer. Yeah. So I, I I'm like, just don't worry, don't forget about my vodka. We need, a, <laughs> we need an ocean, you know, video thing. Yeah. Yeah. Then, Vargas <laughs> vodka right here. Yeah, I know. I forgot yeah. you were drinking yeah, it. And really what is good. your charity of choice? I will want First, that's really generous of you. I appreciate you doing that, giving us an opportunity to donate. Um, if you can't think of anything right off I know, the bat, I was just... I, I was having a hard time thinking about stuff. Right now, I think there's like a huge humanitarian crisis going on, obviously, in the Middle East. Yeah. So I have a soft spot for children and being okay. in need, like having really rough upbringings. And there's a lot of different ones. I was thinking I've, I've donated to some like sports charities in the U.S., but okay. I'd like to do something for like the chil children okay. of Gaza. I think that's yeah. like... It's it's just heartbreaking, like the videos Let's that are going, going on right now, and see what I'm seeing on TikTok. It's just like, I mean, we're over here drinking tequila, having vodka in yeah, Newport, it and it's sad. just like there's kids who are, you know, watching their families get blown up and can't ah, eat, can't drink. Not to be a bummer on the podcast. No, 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 it's, 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 okay. it's, it's it's like I would like to. I mean, no, if, no it's real. It's, it's to have the opportunity. So, nothing specific, but we want to look into what what the best one. Yeah, I want to I want to still okay. do some research and we'll make like sure that, that you know. I always tell people, even a dollar, thousand dollars, a thousand dollars is it's, it's a lot. But that's, uh, it, yeah. if you could find one that we could give to. Um, on our video, we're going to put links to where else other people can donate to the right. charity of your choice. Yeah. So when you're ready, we can add that, and you already have one. Mm -hmm. And then just give me their 501c3 information, and then we, we go ahead and donate That's that. really but, generous of you. Thank yeah, you. Thank no, you very much. Just our part of being able to advertise a little bit of charity and give back per episode. And, and we just thank you for what you're doing by giving back so we want to we want to do the same thing on on you know daily logic this is the logical podcast about right. sea life <laughs> yeah. um, but also we have a little gift for both of you oh, we're being what? part of it's our launch um, you're one of our of our first 10 podcasts we're doing Sweet. a little extra gift for everybody um is it a house in Newport Beach? <laughs> yeah, you get a new yacht. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, these are both similar gifts, but There's another I don't know there. if they're the right size. So you guys okay. will have to figure out who has bigger hands. Let's go. Play. Yeah, you get a little Vargas fog. You don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It. It's Let's dorky. It on, I gave those are Travis Matthews golf hats. Yeah, they're golf yeah, hats. I wear my. I oh my god, that golfing. is so amazing. I like the logo. Thank I like you. the I logo. I did it myself. Wait, I, I designed it myself. It Tiffany oh yeah, we got a little. <laughs> and that that shirt says, uh, uh, "Drink vodka, ride a cowboy." <laughs> no way. We gotta show the viewers. Okay, I mean, it looks okay. really, it's really to. well, <laughs> well wrapped up. But I do want to show. And then, of course, men getting Tiffany boxes is so I, funny I had to, to me. Open this up. We gotta I gotta take a here. picture of this. All right, ready? Here's the big reveal. That's okay, awesome. That's awesome. here we go. Let's see what's in there. <laughs> Oh, we get the little bag. <laughs> more, more packaging. More pa well, whatever. It just comes with packaging. There we go a little bit more. What? What is in here? No way. Wait, yeah. hold on. Let's do it at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, just hold on. Open it at the same time. We'll wait. We'll wait. This is really, <laughs> this is really beautiful already. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Well, Tiffany is, you know, my guests deserve the best. And, you know, I know that it take, it's a lot for you guys to come on. And, and. Jeez. Yeah. So I just, I this love. Is... The blue box. Well, I thought you might too. You're very, like you're a very generous person, so thank it's you. It's ocean way. blue. What? Yeah, there you go. Because you surf, moly. so I figured you're in the ocean a lot, and you know uh, it won't come off if you get it. Uh, the lady at the Tiffany in um, 
in uh, no way. South Coast Plaza. Mars said that you could oh go God. in. Her card is in there. I think it's already locked and on have for good. Sized. <laughs> so you can have it sized. You can have it sized it and engraved or whatever. Oh, nice. You want. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. so let me. I gotta get a picture of this. This is so great. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, skimboarders and Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> this is so okay. cool. So I love the ring. You're so generous. I had a feeling, you know, you're gonna give us something. So I had a couldn't come empty-handed. So I had to give you. It's not Tiffany and Co. You know, but. I got you uh, some Blenders AK Signature Shades. Oh, nice. Yeah. Am I going to start talking the lingo now? Yeah, bro. Yeah, totally. Sick. And those are definitely buttery, too. So. Ooh, Ooh I, mean, nice. I love shades. And I got you a little AK little AK merch. There you go. Oh, man. very cool. I never get gifts. This yeah. is great. Maybe I should have you guys on more you can, often. You know, it's probably too big for you, but you can cut it and crop it. You know, See, what, it, what, what do girls I look like? like? To do. Yeah, Dude, those, yes. those are baller. Those look so red. Oh What's my up? god! Wait, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like this or like this? Those what are, do I do? Like, <laughs> those are some Andrew, good. what do you think? You think I could go out there and be a skimboarder? So, yeah. what? Wait, I, I, you could look like a You could definitely yeah. look like a poster. So you that I wanted you to get those shades because I hope it felt it would manifest this that giant fifty foot. I feel so just manifest right now. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, do you no, sell glasses. this? Are this your brand? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even really promote my merch, but oh. I just want to bring you a shirt, a little AK shirt. Well, thank you, darling. That way you can feel I it. I don't promote mine either. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I don't and then we got anything. you some don't eat shit stickers, because, you know, now that you got vitamin bars, you won't be eating shit. You know what? I don't want to eat shit. That's the last thing I want to eat, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat your vitamin bar, so here we are. Yeah. Thank you guys for being on. You guys are amazing. Andrew, thank you for not, not, not wearing a normal shirt. <laughs> no, no, no problem, no problem. All right, let's go golf, dude. Yeah, yeah, let's go yeah, play some golf. Yeah. Let's go play some golf. <laughs> thanks for everything you guys do. You're fabulous. You give back to the community. You give back to yourselves. And you've also taught us how to give back. So thanks for today. Thank you. Thank you very Woo! much. Thank you. That's a wrap. <laughs> Daily Logic Check. I hope everybody learned today how to save the environment one step at a time, one creek at a time, what you can do for your environment in your, in your area. And um, go on the websites, donate, like, follow, and uh, support us on Patreon. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is awesome. This is awesome. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> Daily Logic Check.